Well, good morning and welcome to Crawlsville Baptist Church. We have a fantastic worship service planned for you today. We're going to have our Christmas uh, worship song service this morning. Um, we're going to have a lot of or some children doing some songs. They're super excited. I'm a little biased being the youth minister here, but we're going to have a youth for the first time in a long time. We're going to have a youth praise team here this morning. So I'm very excited about that. We have a lot of nerves. <laughs> Thank you. We have a lot of nervous youth, but they're going to be fantastic. And then we're going to have an adult um, choir sing as well. So we have lots going on for you this morning. You're in for a treat. Um, if you would, though, if you would look at your bulletin, just a couple of things I need to let you know about. The very first one is take note that we will not have services tonight. We do not have Sunday night services tonight, um, nor on the 28th. Also, we're going to have a Christmas Eve service. It is on Christmas Eve uh, at 5 o'clock. Um, I have to say that uh, it's December 24th, um, Saturday night. I can't make it any more clear, but it will be Christmas Eve service, and we'll do a candlelight service as well. Um, so you come and be a part of that. It'll be very special. Also, on Christmas Day, we're only going to have just our worship service, and that starts at 1030. So Christmas morning, uh, next Sunday, we're going to come just for um, worship service only. And then also, we're doing socks. We're collecting, the youth been collecting socks all month, but Charles wanted me to bring it to the church. If you would like to bring in socks for our homeless, they're in need of it, you can bring it by the church office. New socks. I, sorry. I thought that was already, I thought that was kind of written in there, but yes, please bring new socks. We don't need your old holy socks. Uh, bring some new socks in for the homeless. That'll be great. You can drop them by the church office. Um, or bring them next Sunday morning, that'll be great. And last but not least, before we get going, is today is a very special day as well because one of our staff members, it's his birthday, Zane Addis. He's... <laughs> Zane Addis just turned 29 today, so if Miss Judy Kelly would come on up, we're going to sing happy birthday to him. All right, Zane, we're going to do this different. We're going to let you stand. You stand. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. God bless you. Happy birthday to you. All right, would you pray with me as we begin today's service? God, thank you, Lord, so much for all that you have got prepared for today. Thank you, Lord, for everyone who is willing just to serve you in a matter of singing and using their talents for, for worship. But God, that is what we pray that will happen here this morning, that we will truly be filled with a heart of worship. May the Holy Spirit just, uh, just lead us to of just a song of praise and glory for your namesake. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
In those days, Caesar Augustus issued to a degree that is a census should be taken in the entire, the entire Roman world, and everyone went there to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, a, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to, married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping a watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly a great company of a of the heavenly host appeared with the angel praising God and say, say Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace good will will toward men. morning as our youth are making their way up here. Stand and sing with us. Go tell it on the mountain. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. While shepherds kept their watching for silent flocks by night, behold, throughout the heavens there shone a holy light. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. Down in a lowly manger, the humble Christ was born and brought us God's salvation that blessed Christmas morn. The mountain over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. Thank you very much. You may be seated.
standing as we sing joy to the world the lord has come joy to the world the lord is come let earth receive her king let every heart prepare him room and heaven and nature sing and heaven and nature sing and heaven and heaven and nature sing. He rules the world with truth and grace and makes the nations prove the glories of his righteousness and wonders of his love and wonders of his love. You may be seated. It has been an exciting day today so far with the music. It's so great to see all the talent that's coming along in our younger children and in our youth. Uh, thank you all so much for blessing us today with what you shared with us so far. Uh, I do want to let you know if you uh, had a poinsettia placed in the church, you're welcome to take them home with you at the end of the service today. I do want to apologize to one person uh, Miss Betsy Hare placed three poinsettias in the church in memory of her husband, her daughter, and her grandson. And uh, I want to apologize because that didn't make it into the bulletin, but we do want to remember those also. And I'm so glad to see all of you here today, all the parents, grandparents, and all the relatives. So glad to have the, all of you visiting with us today. Today we're right at lighting the fourth candle of the Advent. And I've asked uh, Macy and Dylan and uh, Nick to come and uh, light the candle this morning. Would y'all come forward? These are the Lamont children. Their dad's here with them today also, but uh, these three kids have been a part of our church family for a long time. I still call you kids, even though this one's grown now. Uh, but uh, they are very special to our church family. Their mother uh, had cancer, and she passed away a few years ago. But today, the candle is about love, and I thought, sorry, it's okay. <laughs> he's comforting me. <laughs> uh, I thought, what a great example of love there would be than to show these three young people uh, who their mother loved with all their heart. And uh, she left that love with them. And she entrusted them to their dad for him to take care of and for him to continue to love them. But what an example of love. Uh, these are three wonderful young people. And they uh, are so loving and caring themselves. And uh, is, I thought, love, that's what love is all about. You know, Tina's at home with their Heavenly Father and uh, they're going to see her again one day, but that love is still with them and will always be with them. It will always be a part of who they are. In John 3, 16, it says, it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. We're so thankful today that Tina knew Jesus as her Savior and Lord and that she's in heaven today. 
And I am so thankful that all three of these know Jesus as their Savior and Lord and that they're going to be in heaven one day also. But what an example of love. I want y'all to know we love you. I know. I know, Pastor Charles. Oh, no, <laughs> that was a hug from the church family, okay? But Dylan, I'd like for you, if you would, to light the fourth candle this morning for love. Thank you. And let's have a prayer together. Heavenly Father, this morning, our hearts are touched with love, with your love that you give us, Lord, that you showed us through your Son, Jesus Christ. And Father, thank you for giving us the ability to love one another. Thank you for for Dylan and for Macy and for Nicholas. And thank you, Lord, for the love that they have for each other and the love that they have for their mom and for their dad and the love that they share with us here at Crosswell Baptist Church. And thank you for everyone who has touched them with their love. And Father, again, we thank you for the greatest gift of love at Christmas, and that is your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Please join me in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, the best gift, no, the perfect gift that an institution can receive is the gift of an endowment. And the reason so is the gift of an endowment gives forever. It's never ending. I love this time of the season. This is the time of the season when you sent us your perfect gift in Jesus Christ. And Jesus came down and took on the form of man and God. And he led us and taught us how to live our lives. And then he died a brutal death on a cross to save us from our sins. Jesus, we thank you for your never-ending grace. We thank you for your never-ending love. We thank you for your never-ending forgiveness. But we especially thank you for coming down and now giving us ever-living life. Ever men. your baby boy would someday walk on water. Mary, did you know that your baby boy would save our sons and daughters? Did you know that your baby boy has come to make you This child that you delivered will soon deliver you. Mary, did you know that your baby boy would give sight to a blind man? Mary, did you know that your baby boy would calm a storm with his hand. Did you know that your baby boy has walked where angels run? When you kiss your little baby, you kiss the face of God. The deaf will hear, the dead will live again. The lame will leap, the dumb will speak, the praises of the Lamb. Mary, did you know? 
that your baby boy is Lord of all creation. Mary, did you know that your baby boy will one day rule the nations? Did you know that your baby boy is heaven's perfect land? The sleeping child you're holding, he's the grand. stars are brightly shining. It is the night of the dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin and ever pining. Till he appeared and the soul felt its worth. What thrill of hope, the weary world rejoices for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn.
Let's give the choir a hand again. It's so great to also see the age group of the choir we have from high schoolers, middle schoolers, all the way up to senior adults. Way to keep it in there, senior adults. <laughs> but it's a great job, and we appreciate that so much. You know, we talked about today uh, being uh, the candle of love, and we quoted John 3.16, which everyone knows. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. The second, the verse that follows that is John 3.17, and that's what Christmas is really all about. For God sent his Son into the world not to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. I want you to think about that as we celebrate this Christmas. God knew when he sent Jesus to us that he had a purpose for that. And the purpose was for Jesus to live a perfect life so that he could be the perfect sacrifice and be able to go to the cross to die for the sins of all mankind. Then God gives us the opportunity to accept Jesus Christ as our Savior and Lord. We think about the perfect gift to give to our loved ones and to our friends and other people that we give gifts to. But the perfect gift that we can offer to anyone is the plan of salvation. When we're able to tell someone else what Jesus did for us when he saved us from our sins. And when he rose from the grave, he gives us victory over death. And we also are able to spend eternity with him in the place that Jesus told us that he has gone to prepare for us. So as we celebrate Christmas this year, think about someone that you can share Christ with. They might not accept Jesus as their Savior and Lord, but you have given them up the opportunity when you tell them about Jesus. And they will have the opportunity to unwrap the greatest gift that would ever be given to them if they would only invite Jesus Christ into their lives. So this Christmas... May we celebrate the greatest gift of all, which is Jesus Christ, our Savior and our Lord. I want us to recognize a few people this morning for the beautiful program that they, has, they have presented for us today. First of all, I want to start with the children. I want us to thank uh, Zane Addis and Lauren Minton and Allison McMichael. If y'all three will still stand, let's thank them. Lauren's back there on the sound. For work And children, y'all stand one more time. Everybody in children's choir stand. Let's give them a hand. And then I want to thank uh, those who work with our youth, Nathan Timmons and Zane Addis, and how you have really uh, brought out the talents in them. Nathan, run up here real quick. I want you to share with them who were on the different instruments. We have some Didn't know that that was going to come through. But hey, um, so we had Josh Steele, if you would stand. He was helping me out with the acoustic guitar. There he is. And then we had someone new on drums who showed interest, which is Haley Brown, if you would stand. She was on the kit in the back. And then also we had someone else who was new on the drum off in the front was uh, uh, A.J. Clark, if you would stand. And then we had two soloists, which were Alex, where did he go? Right behind me, we had Alex, and then we had Sawyer. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so we had Alex Bernard, and then we had Sawyer Levaner. So uh, anyway, so I forgot to give the last name. Um, and then we had all of our youth in the youth choir. So if you would stand, all the youth in the youth choir, if you would stand. All right, and one other person you didn't get to hear, but I do want to acknowledge her, was Emma Kellum. Um, she was on our keyboards all through all the practices. She's not here this morning because COVID hit her house. Um, so that is why she's not here, but I did want to recognize her. And also one last but not least, since I have the microphone, I can do this. Turn around and give your attention to the sound team in the back as well. They did an awesome job. <laughs> Which consists of Laura Mitten, Judy Jones, and Ethan Timmons. 
we have covered the youth and the children, but with the adult choir, we have, it's actually a youth and adult choir. And it looks full up here this morning, but listen, we can move these instruments out of the way. And we can, have, we can expand the choir. So hopefully next for performance, we'll have many, many more up here. Y'all come and join the choir. They have a great time on Wednesday nights, don't you, Kim? <laughs> And joy, they get they start misbehaving sometime. We have to get on to those two. But uh, otherwise, they have a great time in the choir on Wednesday nights. And we're actually going to move practice on Wednesday nights uh, to seven o'clock because we're going to move our other things to start at six o'clock. So we'll start on six now on Wednesday, starting in January, and then the uh, choir will be at seven. That way, the youth can get home earlier to do their homework, which I know y'all do, don't you? So. <laughs> I do want to recognize one of them that he mentioned this morning. Zane, would you recognize your soloist for the adult choir? Yes. There it is. Alex worked hard. He did a great job. Um, I really appreciate it. Stand up again, man. Excellent job. You music leader and church minister for the uh, music program of the church. A great big hand. Zane Addis just had a few months to put all this together. And they wish you happy birthday again. But uh, we do so much appreciate Zane being with us and we look forward to many many great programs of music to come and the music that's provided every Sunday it's so great to have all of you with us this morning uh we're going to let Zane and Caitlin and Nathan and Joy go to the door and back this at the front this morning Cindy and I are going to stay up front here today but uh y'all go on to the back I'll have the closing prayer uh and we're so glad for all of the families that are here today uh all of the grandparents parents uh, relatives, brothers, sisters, everybody that came today to be a part of our service today. Uh, would you all stand with me and we'll have our closing prayer. Cindy, you and I will go ahead and go back there too. <laughs> okay, and uh, you are welcome if you had a point set is to take them today after the service. We are having uh, Christmas Day. We're having just the worship service at 1030. Make that a part of your Christmas, even if you have to come in your pajamas. That's okay. Okay, let's have a closing prayer. Father, today we thank you for the blessing we have received through music. We thank you, Lord, for the gift of music, how it speaks to our hearts. Father, thank you for everyone here today, every family that is represented. And Father, may you bless every family this Christmas. For it's in your name we pray. Amen.